A protest camp set up last summer is still here, deep into a particularly harsh winter. But take a closer look. There are more open spaces than tents. At its height, there were thousands of campers, fewer than 600 remain. Angry about President Trump's action, but determined to stay. Obviously in these weather conditions, you know, the days of hundreds and hundreds of people going up for actions in various places is very difficult logistically. Um, but now the prayer here seems to be our presence in camp is enough. For months last year, they called themselves water protectors and tried to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline. In early December, they celebrated what proved to be a temporary victory when the Obama administration halted construction. With a new government in Washington determined to restart the project, some are questioning whether the camp is still viable. Once home to 10,000 or more people, this camp does need a major cleanup, even as people are leaving now. And there is the fact that this is the floodplain of the Cannonball River. And the local tribal chairman is warning that things could get really nasty here in the spring. Now I know there's a flood coming. David Archambault is saying it's time for the protesters to move on. The grassroots people need to change the focus, shift the focus, because this one pipeline, even if it was stopped, how many more are coming? Once they battled the police and pipeline security officers, now cold temperatures and a tribal council that wants them to leave. A protest that once attracted international attention looks to be slowly winding down, at least for now. Daniel Lack, Ocheti Shekowan Camp, North Dakota.